the first, you know, our first impression was our fitness when we, the team came back. Uh, a lot of them were here in the summer, really positive. Uh, all of our freshmen getting their fitness tests out of the way, the upperclassmen really setting the standard. So positive from a, a physical standpoint. And then this is the, the deepest group we've ever had in terms of a soccer perspective. So really getting them on the same page quickly. Um, the speed of play and training has been tremendous and, and a good competitive spirit. So. We still have a lot of things to grow with, but overall, really good start to the, the preseason. Sure, I think that was one of our, our big strengths last year, um, and building upon that, you know, we'll have a different goalkeeper in the goal than, than Hannah losing her to graduation, but uh, Mary's really stepped up in, in the offseason last spring, and then this summer she's put in a ton of work in the weight room and training with the team. So she's right now starting in the goal. Um, you know, we've got a, another freshman who's coming back from an injury, but will we'll give us a great, great depth in the goal as well. And then the back line, you know, kind of anchored by senior Casey Bright, um, who's played a ton of minutes and a lot of experience over her four years. And then we've added some, some really exciting young talent around her that I think will help us keep a low goals against average, you know, the ball out of the back of our net, but then also give us a, a whole new dimension going forward with the ball. Yeah, it's an exciting group. Um, it's, it's, like I said, the deepest group we've ever had. We have some, some returning players that I think will, will be some keys for us. Tori Marshall has really become a pretty special holding midfielder, um, but we've got a, a great group that, that can play with her in that deeper role from Lauren Tondal, a big junior leader for us, Molly Ream, um, and then Courtney Reimer stepped in and is playing tremendous as a freshman in that spot as well. So it's an exciting, really athletic, talented pair that we can put together um, in, that, in that spot. And then when you look at the attacking group going from there, we've got, you know, players that can, really we got about eight players that can compete for four starting spots. So we've got great athleticism and pace and um, Lindsay Sands and Danielle Tomei up high and, and Alyssa Seitzer is getting her nose in there as well. And then we got a bunch of really crafty, creative players that can really create chances for us and finish with, with Shaney, Sakamoto. We got Christina Rodriguez in that group. Um, Kirsten Clemens is making stuff happen out here on Saturday night. And then a bunch of younger ones injecting their, their flair in there. And Maddie Picorni, Emma Farley, Evie Lavelle. So it, we got our hands full with a lot of good players. And, and we're right now trying to figure out the best combination of players to play together. For us, it's every time we step on the field, we talked about it throughout preseason, is we expect to win um, and, and dominate. So you know, starting this weekend with uh, Kansas State, it'll be exciting welcome week game at home open up and then right away we get to go on the road and play IPFW. So, you know, getting into that home and away rhythm, that's how the majority of our A-10 schedule is structured. Uh, so that gets us prepared um, for to win the A-10 championship down the road here. You know, throughout the non-conference, we felt it was important to test ourselves against all kinds of different styles, athleticism, opponents. You know, then we go into the A-10 and every game, as, as we saw last year, is tight. And every game is for the, you know, for that first place spot. So our goal is to, to compete for and win the championship, and then go into the go into the A10 tournament and, and compete for and win that. So we're excited, looking forward to it. But right now our sights are set on K State.